Hey everybody, Hatcher here with Gaming News, Reviews, and Tips, GNRT, and we're back in DCS World in our F-18 Hornet, and we're taking a look at some of the VR settings, and today we're taking a closer look at Gamma. Now normally when you want to make an adjustment to a graphics setting, you have to do it in the loading screen. So you go up to the settings panel, and then to your graphics tab, and then you can make a settings change. And in this case with Gamma, we have the option to turn it all the way down to 1, or we can turn it up to 3.5. I usually play at 2.2. Um, now, normally what I do when I'm doing these sort of comparisons is I try and do a side-by-side -side comparison. We're going to do something a little bit different today, and we're going to hop right into the cockpit, and I'm going to show you what this setting does, simply because this is one of the few settings that you can actually change while you're playing the game in the pause screen. So here we are in the air, and I've just hit the pause button and uh, brought up the graphics options screen. You can see Gamma is here and I had it set at one and now I've moved it to 3.5. And what you can see is it really just changes the brightness uh, of your screen and your resolution. 3.5 making it very bright and one making it quite dark. And that changes uh, all of the brightness. So outside of the cockpit and inside of the cockpit. So really this is more of a, a preference uh, on what you like to see. If you like it a little bit darker or if you like it a little bit lighter. In my case, I like it a little bit closer to the dark setting. Uh, like I said, I usually play at 2.2. At 3.5, things are really, really washed out uh, and it makes it quite hard to see. Uh, but at 2.2 and lower, it's a, a little bit uh, darker and a little bit easier on the eyes. All right, let's go ahead and see what happens now when we do a side-by-side -side comparison to our frame rates. And spoiler alert, there's really not much difference. So this really is just a preference setting. So I did this comparison on an instant action session, so just single player mode, and uh, my frame rates were between 35 and 40 uh, for the entire test period. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this quick little video on Gamma. If you did, please give me a like or subscribe, and we will see you in-game.